Omega. You are worthy of our praises today. You are worthy of our praises today. Almighty God, the Alpha and the Omega, we bless your name. Thank you for bringing us to the last day of this year. What a wonderful God you are. Thank you that we can be partakers of the last Holy Communion service of the year 2020. But for you, Lord, we won't be here now. Thank you for preserving us. Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, as we partake of this Holy Communion service, we ask that all the blessings that can ever be released to anyone dining at your table will be released unto us, even as we eat the last meal before we cross over into the new year. Do this for us, Lord, and take all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We want to really, really bless the name of the Lord for this last Holy Communion service of the year. Our text for this crossover meal, if we could call it that, is to be found in Matthew chapter 26, from verse 26 to 29. Matthew 26, from verse 26 to 29. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, and bless it, and break it, and gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup, and gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Now, the, 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 this passage is telling us about what happened at what is called the Last Supper. It is called the Last Supper because it's a very, very significant, significant meal that the Lord took or partook of with his disciples. But the most important thing here is the statement that the Lord made he said, after this meal, for me, things are going to be different. He said, I won't drink of this wine with you anymore until I drink it new in my father's kingdom. What he was actually saying was that I'm about to cross over from one face of my existence to another. He was saying, even though the disciples might not fully understand it at that time, that by the next time, I'll be dining with you. I would have changed from the lamb to the lion. 
Because when you read Revelation chapter 5 from verse 5 to 10, Revelation 5 from verse 5 to 10, the Bible tells us that when there was the need for someone to open a scroll in heaven, and no one was found who could do it, John the Revelator said he began to cry because he wanted to know what's inside that scroll. And one of the elders came to him and said, don't cry. There's someone here who has been able, someone who is qualified to open the scroll. He said, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed to open the scroll. But then, John the Beloved said, when I looked, I was looking for a lion. But what I saw was a lamb that was slain. The lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world has been transformed from being a lamb to being a lion. Dramatic transformation. The Lord was saying to them at that last supper, that the next time I'm dining with you, I will no longer be the servant washing your feet. I will be the Lord. As you will find in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verse 36. Acts 2, verse 36. Peter said to the people, the Lord Jesus Christ that you crucified has been transformed into both Christ and Lord. Jesus was saying to them that the next time I dine with you, I would have crossed over from being just the helpless one to someone who is mighty. You know, when he hung on the cross, one of the thieves on the cross said, hey, why don't you save yourself and save us also? People were mocking him. They were saying, come down if you really have the power to do so. And he didn't respond. But by the time you get to Matthew chapter 28, verse 18, Matthew 28, verse 18, he said, all power in heaven and on earth have been given unto me. Dramatic transformation. He was saying, the next time I dine with you, I would have been transformed from someone who could be held down, who could be buried in a tomb, to someone who is flying. Because if you read Matthew chapter 27 from verse 59 to 60, Matthew 27, 59 to 60, when he was buried in that borrowed tomb, they rolled a stone across the mouth of the tomb. But huh, by the time we got to Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, from verse 9 to 11, Acts 1, 9 to 11, not only has the stone been rolled away long ago, not only has he come out triumphant, not only has he become unstoppable, we saw him flying, soaring all the way to heaven. 
Acts 1, 9 to 11. He was saying, by the next time I'm dining with you, I will no longer be someone who could be wounded. But I would have become a health giver. When he said, take, eat, this is my body, broken for you. He was selling there, I can still be beaten. My flesh can still be broken. But by the time I dine with you again, you can say, as it's written in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24, 1 Peter 2, 24, by his stripes we were healed. He was saying, after this meal, I would have crossed over from being powerless to someone who can give power. Because in John chapter 5, verse 30, John 5, verse 30, he said, I can of my own self do nothing without my father's supporting me. I'm helpless. But after that meal, not too long after that, he was able to say to the disciples in Luke chapter 24, verse 49. Luke 24, verse 49, he said, Hey, wait. I will get power sent down to you from my Father in heaven. You see, in every man's life, there is a meal that brings total crossover. And tonight, as you partake of this Holy Communion, wherever you may be, I'm believing God for you that you too will cross over from weakness to strength, from helplessness to power. That you can no longer be held down, but you will now begin to soar. And that by the special grace of God, not only will you be living in divine health, but you will be enjoying divine power. And so, I want to again emphasize the importance of the Holy Communion that is not to be taken unworthily. You are not to partake of this meal if you are not a child of God. The bread of children are not meant for dogs. So I'm inviting you, even at this late hour, to surrender your life to Jesus Christ. Let his blood wash you clean. Become a child of God. And then... You can partake of this meal, and it will be a crossover meal for you too. So if you are listening to me, and you have not yet surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, you can do so now. You can pray a very simple prayer, and just tell the Almighty God, the Lord Jesus himself, to please have mercy on you, Save your soul, wash you clean with his blood, and make you a child of God. So if you will bow your head wherever you are, and you pray this prayer for the next one minute, I am willing to join my faith with yours and pray for your salvation so that you can now become a child of God. Call on him 
call on Jesus Christ. Ask him to have mercy on you, save your soul, wash you clean in his blood, make you a child of the living God, and promise him that you will serve him for the rest of your life. Thank you, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. So, my Father, my God, I want to thank you. Thank you for your body that was broken for us. Thank you for the blood that was shed for us. As many as are surrendering their lives to you now, Father, let that blood wash them clean. Save their souls, Lord. Let them become children of God. Receive them into your family. And Lord God Almighty, from now on, any time they cry unto you, please answer them by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, those of you who have just given your life to Jesus Christ, I rejoice with you. And I want to promise you that from now on, I'll be praying for you. So I'm going to ask you to contact me as soon as possible so that I will be able to include you in my prayer list. But I will also advise you to seek out any branch of the Redeemed Christian Church of God near to you, and you'll find them everywhere. And tell the pastor that you've given your life to Jesus and you want to know what to do next. And they will help you. God bless you. Now, the rest of us, as we proceed to the table of the Lord, I want you to please pay attention to the word you have heard. And note that this is a special meal for you, a crossover meal that will enable you to cross over into everything glorious that God has in store for you. As you eat the bread, pray that you cross over to divine health. That you won't even know ache or pain anymore Amen. till you see the Lord in glory. Amen. And when it is time to drink the wine, I will tell us how to pray. Thank you, Father. Now we're using the wine, the bread and the wine here as a point of contact for all the other elements that we'll be using today. We have prayed over it, and the power of God is in the bread as well as in the wine. Like I've said, as soon as we give the go-ahead, please eat the bread and cry to the Almighty God that we want to cross over to divine health for the rest of your life. The Lord Jesus, the very night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And when you drink the wine today, cry to God that you want to cross over to full-fledged divine power. Power to do exploits for the Almighty God, Amen. particularly from now on. After the same manner also he took the cup when he has supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as soft as they drink it in remembrance of me. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Lord God Almighty, even as I drink, let me cross over to the fullness of your power. Power to heal the sick, power to set the captives free, power to raise the dead, power to revive Reverse the irreversible. Power to win souls, Lord. Power to establish them. Power to do marvelous things in your name. Power to do even greater works than you did. Lord, let me cross over to the fullness of your power. Ramo Sheke, Ramo Kotundi, Remakakante, Ramo Korunde Mokoshate. Ikeke, Ramo Kotundra, Ramakakato, Ramo Koshindi, Ekeke to Rundra Mamahike Kira Moko Sheke, Tandi Kira Mokotundra. Oh, thank you, Father. Anoint me afresh, Lord. Fill me to overflowing with your power. I may cross over to the fullness of your power, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And so, my Father and my God, once again, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the opportunity to dine with you. Thank you for the blood that washed us clean. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the body that was broken for our health. You, I commit all your children all over the world, partaking in this service into your hands. I pray that this will be a true crossover meal. Amen. Crossing over into divine health. Amen. And crossing over to the fullness of your power. Amen. So that we'll be able to do exploits for you. Amen. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you all.